privacy settings in the upper right drop down menu for help. You can check CNNMoney.com for more information and updates on Facebook's new policies. I'm Allison Kosick in New York. And despite these privacy concerns by the general public, it's not stopping businesses from using Facebook to market their products. Now that Facebook's released a new feature called Timeline, there are also opportunities for business to really change the way that users are interacting with their pages and their products. Joining us now to tell us how you can use Facebook for your business is Lucio Ribeiro, digital strategist of Online Circle. Uh, Lucio, welcome to Tech Report. Um, tell us about the kinds of companies that you're already seeing are using Facebook to market their products. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me on your program. Um, all sort of companies, uh, from these small companies, from large size, from medium size, organizations, brands, uh, celebrities, uh, churches, charities, they have all kind of companies uh, are utilizing the power of social media, or specifically mm. on Facebook. Often, I mean, companies obviously have a website. Yes. What is the benefit of kind of selling socially as opposed to just having that website, which you can really control as well? Oh, yeah. Um, Facebook it gives you a, a lot of insights and gives you a two ways conversation with these, mm -hmm. with these uh, users connecting to you. It's the, um, can I say, first step for permission marketing. It's your mm -hmm. ongoing live organic database where you can communicate ping pong with your users and ask questions and understand about your business and test new concepts and uh, be more interactive with them and mm. tell stories. Tell stories about your company, mm. tell stories about your business and potentially affect your prospects and turn them into consumers. And the evidence says that is more effective? Um, I wouldn't say this if it is more effective or not, okay. but it is, it is, it is a, a, a kind of another channel. Basically. It is another yeah. channel, and more importantly, it is the way the consumers are shifting in the way they consume information about your companies. I guess that's uh, a little bit uh, old school, where the companies just push and broadcast information yeah. down the throats to the consumers. Now consumers are more savvy and want to participate. Yeah. Do you think that means eventually? the Facebook page replaces the company website? Well, that's a big it guess. Is. That's a big, that's a big huge step. Um, my opinion is, yes, that's a, a huge step towards replacing these corporate uh, uh, websites. It's a long way to go. It's a lot of privacy concerns, a lot of discussions regarding, oh, am I safe uh, having my own website where I control everything, mm. or would it be safe for having a third party uh, mm. uh, controlling my, my, my brand? Uh, although that's a lot of uh, benefits having on Facebook, you can customize stuff, you can mm -hmm. uh, engage with the consumers, you can have a real life conversations with these guys. So the pros and cons, and uh, let's see what the future holds. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, we know that there's also a lot of advertising on Facebook. Yes. A lot of users, I'll, I will admit, I'm, maybe I'm not too observant, but I don't really even notice it. But how much time are you finding that Facebook users actually spend looking at? Advertising. Well, uh, it's it's really difficult to to, to um, try to come up with a number saying how long the users actually mm. spend on advertising. But uh, one thing for sure, these guys are doing something right. Mm. The, the the revenue from these guys last year, 3.7 billion dollars, with so this around is the revenue for Facebook from advertising. 85 percent comes from advertising, and 15 okay. percent comes from share revenue uh, from uh, social games and all these sort of things. So they Clearly, they're doing something really right here, and they're coming from from uh, advertising. Mm. We well, mentioned in the in the introduction to the segment um, the new timeline feature. Um, how is this being seen as an uh, an opportunity for fa for businesses on Facebook? Well, bro, I've I've read so many things about the timeline and about companies saying, "Oh, that's the end of small companies on Facebook. That's just the time for the big boys," and I can completely disagree with his, with his opinion. Actually, I, think, I see this as a massive, great opportunity for a small business. Mm. Uh, the timeline just introduced to the, to the users, to the brands and, and to the business, opportunity for you to tell stories and how rich stories you can have on a small business. Mm. So tell us how it works though and how the, how the small business can take an that as an opportunity. Okay, so that's a whole visual element of the new yeah. timeline. That's a big display with a big image and mm. that becomes very, very rich yeah. in terms 
of you sending messages to your consumers, but basically works in a chronological, reverse chronological way, where you tell stories on the way, all the way around. So you can, yeah. call, you can celebrate milestones of your companies, you can highlight some great things. So I'm here with you today. So mm -hmm. probably going to go back today mm -hmm. to my company and get a big pitch of you and I talking today yeah. in heaven as a highlight on us. So what happened is you can tell yeah. your stories through, uh, about your company through using uh, a text, but also using videos, yeah. using pictures, behind the scenes. Just imagine trade men uh, using uh, before and after the, the work they have done. You know, that's yeah. so rich, rich information there. It's all about telling, telling stories. And how rich is telling yeah. stories? I mean, if the stories were, were not uh, 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 rich, it would be the end of barbecues and it would be the end of any social events. So we are all, we all human beings and we yes. love stories. Since the uh, 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 humans are human, we yes. tell stories each other and, and we change each other's lives with yes. stories. And that's what is timeline. We love a good yarn, as we say in Australia, yeah. particularly as journalists. Thank you so much, Thank Lucio. You. I appreciate Thanks. your time. Lucio Ribeiro um, from, uh, from uh, Online Circle Digital Strategist. And that's pretty much the tech report for today. Stay with us here. For Sky News Business.